Hello everybody, it's Julia here from the Highly Sensitive Tarot and I'm back today to show you a new deck, one that I'm very, very excited about actually. It has literally just come in the post this morning, I haven't even opened the box yet so I shall show you it and my first reactions to this deck um, in a minute or two. I'll probably pause the video while I cut open the box because I'm sure you don't want to see me doing that. But I thought just before I start, I, I just want to say very quickly, there won't be a video this month of a sort of what have I been up to video, just because I don't really know what to say, to be honest. It's been a very difficult month and I haven't done a great deal um, that I could share here on this channel. Um, my health problems continue. I'm still trying to get some help with those things. Um, I'm okay, but I'm struggling and I don't have a lot of extra energy really for for much. So, um, <laughs> but I wanted to share this deck with you and I've also got another deck coming actually from Canada called the Cat Aura deck, which you may have seen recently. I think Simon had a copy which he showed on his channel, um, but it's a new release. This is a new release, the deck that I've got to show you today. So, um so yeah, there'll be no real chat from me this month about books and decks I've been working with and bits and pieces. I've already recorded um, the first of my videos showing the decks that I am going to work with through the summer for June and July. And it's it's animal decks. So um, I have already recorded and put out the first of those videos and I will continue with those because I am still enjoying my decks. I'm just not doing anything serious with them really I'm just playing with them and enjoying the art on them and using them really just in a very sort of casual way I suppose to to help me process the things that are going on at the moment so and none of that do I really feel is appropriate to share on this channel so um so yeah that's how it is but anyway I'm going to pause the video because that's enough of me waffling. I'm sure you just want to see the deck. So I'm going to pause the video and open the box. So here we are. It's open. I don't think I said, did I, when I was just waffling on before. It's the Phases and Forests Oracle. And it's from the Wootique. And I can't remember at this moment who it's created by. Um, let's just get it out of the box here. So, so yeah, it's the Phases and Forest Oracles. I think there was two oracles by the same creator being sold and they've been on pre-order for a while on the Wootiques website. And um, I think it was just posted out this week, you know, this weekend. They are just out, so very exciting. Sorry for all the rustling. <laughs> Blimey, this is like past the parcel. You get through one layer and there's another layer. <laughs> so here we are. There we are, finally. There's the deck. So as I said, it is the Phases and Forests Oracle deck by Catherine Riles. It says here... Um, the Phases and Forests Oracle Deck is inspired by the plants and nature of the Blue Ridge Mountains for the purpose of helping us connect to ourselves and the natural world. Each card contains a keyword and a journaling prompt. Included with the 48 cards is a small guidebook to help you dive deeper into the intricate watercolour illustrations. This deck was lovingly created by artist Catherine Riles over the course of three years. And this is her second deck following the Roots and Wings Oracle deck. That's the other one, obviously, that I'd seen um, on the Wootique. And this is copyright 2023. So I would guess that perhaps in the US you've already had this deck for a while, but it's definitely a new release in the UK. It's in a nice little 
sturdy box that opens very nicely so that's good we've got a little guidebook here let's have a look yeah Catherine Riles um, this deck is a great tool for those who love nature and looking at the light and shadows a little of life a little more deeply I hope you're able to use the deck as a way to question perspectives and seek deeper understanding and connection with love, Catherine. Cards listed alphabetically. Moon cards listed in the back. So we get about this much information, I guess, on each one of the cards. But there is writing on the cards as well. And I think these cards are designed to be used as prompts, really. Um, so I'm quite happy that there's not a huge amount of information here because I think that allows that allows for you to come up with your own insights, doesn't it? So, yeah, we've got all the moons at the back here with just a little sentence about them. So now the deck, the beautiful, beautiful deck. This is the inside of the box. And you can see that it's just a circle with a person sitting at the top of it. Can you see that in the light? Yeah. <laughs> so these beautiful cards are edged in brown. I don't know whether that's a bronze or just a brown. I don't think it's metallic. But it's hard for me to tell in this light. Let me hold them under the light. It might be a sort of metallic -y bronze, actually. I'm not sure. These are the beautiful backs of the cards. Very cute. I can't remember how many cards there are in this deck. Let me just see if I can see quickly. I don't know. I wonder if it says on the website. Save me counting them all, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. I'm just looking on my phone. Um, boutique. So, let's have a look. Phases and oracles. Uh, 48 cards. 48 cards with a 24 page guidebook with a QR, Q, QR code which leads to further resources. Yeah. So let's have a look. These are beautiful, aren't they? Let's just put that up just a little bit if I can. There we go. So we've got here abundance. Are you focusing on your basket being half empty or half full? These are very, very good journaling prompts, aren't they? And these would also, if you use one of these oracle cards as like the first card in a tarot reading, um, this would give you a centre point, wouldn't it? This would give you a theme for your tarot reading. Balance. Aut Autumn Equinox. Do you feel balance between your inner world and your outer world? And these are beautiful cards, actually. The cardstock is lovely. Really, really nice cards. Really soft on your fingers. Very matte. Um, they're really very nice, actually. Um, beginnings. What are you desire? Where are you desiring new beginnings? What makes you reluctant to start something new? Bound and boundaries. Do you feel bound or are you setting boundaries? Do you need to make changes? I really like the imagery on these. They're very simple. These are very, very nice cards. Bringing hope. Winter solstice. How can you cultivate hope when you feel hopeless? Centred. When do you feel most centred and most like yourself? Childlike wonder. What keeps you curious and awake with childlike wonder? Wow. Look at that. Look, that's like a little dreamy fairy tale, isn't it? Something out of a folk story. Communication. Where do you feel like you have room for improving communication? 
connected? What do you feel most connected to? What is the root and foundation of the problem? Courage and fear. I think when I've gone through all of these, I shall pull one and I'll read from the book. Delicate. Have you been gentle with your emotions or are you being too hard on yourself? Desire. Driven. What is your driving motivation for today? Endings. Giving and receiving. Growth and kindness. Health. Oh, look how pretty that is with all those echinaceas there. They're one of my favourite flowers, they are. Beautiful. So good for your immune system, I believe, echinacea. Hide and shine. Very pretty. Intuition. Joy. Loneliness and empathy. Do you relate to loneliness or empathy more right now? How does that sit with you? These are really good questions, aren't they? Quite provocative, quite thought provoking. Meander. Have you allowed yourself to meander and wander recently or are you sticking to the known path? <laughs> Navigating. New perspective. Night vision. Nourish. Oh. Observe. Overcome. What obstacle or mountain is before you and what have you already overcome? Patience. Play. Radiate the summer solstice. Wow, I think I'm going to put that on my altar and perhaps actually this card could form the basis of a reading that I could do for myself at the summer solstice, couldn't it? Imagine you are the sun, what would you be radiating? How gorgeous. Rebirth the, the spring equinox, rooted, seek and find. Shelter. Stories of your bones. What are some of the stories and experiences deep within you, within your bones that have helped shape you? Wow, that is a huge question, isn't it? That could form the basis of, of a lot of shadow work, couldn't it? <laughs> Surfacing. Tree of arms. Trust, vulnerability, visualise a new moon, brainstorm new ideas waxing crescent, take action the first quarter, organise waxing gibbous, celebrate the full moon, tend the garden waning gibbous, let go is the last quarter and rest is the waning crescent. So they're beautiful, aren't they? Truly. I'm not going to shuffle them because I think for the time being I want to just keep them in order. So let's just um, choose one. I think I'm going to go for that one. This one here. What have we got? Surfacing. What helps bring you out of deep water? What is your guiding light? Hmm. Surfacing. Let's have a look. Red eft. What's red eft? Red eft? I don't know what that is. The salamander emerges from the water for its juvenile phase before returning as adults. The warmth of the sun, its light and energy remain familiar no matter how long we've been out of its reach. Surfacing towards the light can be an adjustment, but remember that it's all part of life's cycle. What helps bring you out of deep waters? 
what is your guiding light? And for me, this would make me think about times when you've um, perhaps been in hermit mode for a while, you've been hiding away, you've been needing your space and time, been trying to process things, trying to connect with yourself. And perhaps you're starting to, to come out of that phase and um, go out to turn your face up to the sun and soak up some of the heat. I think I've been doing that actually the last couple of days because the last, oh God, weeks here, it just has not stopped raining and it's been chilly and cold and miserable and dark. And just the last couple of days, the sun has come out and I've found myself surfacing. I found myself heading out towards the light. So this is a this is a beautiful card. And like I said, I think that this deck will prompt um, an enormous amount of really helpful shadow work, actually, when I'm ready, when I'm in that place for that again. Um, and I think I might even use some of these cards to do some collective readings. I think these would be good oracle cards to pull at the beginning of a reading and base my reading on the question that is on the card. So um, I might well have a go at that if I've got the energy and the motivation to be doing it, <laughs> which I really hope that I will. So anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed looking at this deck. I'm sure you'll see it again on my channel. Please do let me know if you've got it or you've got the other deck by this um, lovely creator which I've now cannot remember what that was called. I think it was Roots and something, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, do let me know how you get on with these decks if you've got them. Please do say hello anyway. I love to hear from you. And um, I shall be back, I would imagine, um, at some point this week to show you the other deck that I've got because it's, I think it's in the country now, the deck I've ordered from Canada, the Cat Aura deck. Um, and once I've got that, I can then show you my cat decks as part of my animal month. So anyway, thanks ever so much for being here with me and I'll see you all again soon.